the MRI is a, a radio, radiographic system which allows us to image the brain. It allows us to image lots of different structures in the spine and in, in the intracranial cavity. Uh, the role it plays in the brain most recently is that it allows us to take a preoperative a picture of the brain tumor in the three dimensions and then translate that information to the operating room where a patient will be placed on the operating table and by way of infrared cameras in the operating room we can carefully coordinate or register the patient's head position so that it directly matches the, Im the information on the MRI. Now that MRI scan was done the day before the surgery. And so the information that you're using now has to do with an image that was obtained 24 hours earlier. The intraoperative MRI gives us a real-time way of telling exactly where we are. During an operation when either a small burr hole is made or a larger piece of bone is removed as in the standard craniotomy, the brain shifts when fluids are, are released from the skull. And when that shift occurs, all that information that we obtained on the MRI the day before is now slightly off. The standard approach is that we have to use that MRI data from the day before to give us a very general idea of where we are we know we're compromising the accuracy. And part of that has to do with the shifts in the brain that occur once you open the small burr hole and the brain moves a little. So now when we ask the question, how much of the tumor have we removed? We stop the operation when we've gone as far as we can go, take the patient into the MRI scan, which is in the adjoining room, right off the operating room. You take the picture, you come back to the operating room, but now using data, from an MRI that was just now taken. So now it allows us a real-time, immediate way of knowing if we're on target and if we have our tissue and if we're done. Before the interoperative MRI, we basically would do the operation and we'd tell the patient we're going to attempt to take out 95% or more of the tumor. And many times, because the tumor looks exactly like the brain, on the low, especially in low-grade tumors, and even the high-grade tumors as you get approach the perimeter, we would, during the surgery, feel, well, we know we have to balance the risk of this surgery versus where we think we've come in the operation. And right now, as we look at the tumor, at the end of the operation, we're feeling we don't see any more tumor. So how would we know if we've really to the, end of, to the edge of the tumor? Or could we take another two or three centimeters? And that two or three centimeters would, could make a very significant difference to the patient in terms of the prognosis.